Hello everyone, my name is Rhoda Omungu Naptete, well known as Shosh Rhoda. I work for the Gekan Hospital Kisumu. I am a breastfeeding counselor and a lactation educator. As we celebrate this year's World Breastfeeding Week, under the theme, Close the Gap, Support for Everyone. We at the Agrican Hospital Kisumu are supporting everyone and we are ready to go an extra mile to support every breastfeeding mother. At the Agrican Hospital Kisumu, we start supporting the mothers right from birth. To initiate breastfeeding, we always make sure, as you can see, this is a baby who still has a cord intact, placenta intact. So as soon as the baby comes out, our first initiative for supporting breastfeeding is to make sure that our babies are on their mother's chest to initiate breastfeeding. That's skin to skin. And thereafter, we make sure that these babies are able to be put onto the mom's breast within the first one hour. Unless the mother has gone in for cesarean section, we still make sure that as soon as the mother is in the postnatal ward, we make sure that we have the baby by the side. In other words, at the Gokan Hospital Kisumu, we encourage grooming in of mother and baby. That is one way we support the mothers to get the steading well. We also have the environmental factor. We make sure that the environment where our babies are is clean. They have a chair besides their bed, or they can still be feed in the bed, but we also support them and encourage them in all these positions how they can be able to breastfeed the baby. We make sure that if a mother wants to breastfeed the baby lying down, we are able to show them how to do it. But we, when the mother sits in the chair, we also make sure that we support them to know exactly what to do. Especially when they're sitting in the chair, they need to have their legs totally flat on the floor and at 90 degrees sitting. We also have breastfeeding pillows that we give each and every mother at the hospital to help them make sure that they are using the pillows to make sure that the baby is coming closer to them, not that they are going to the baby. Apart from that, when the mother is discharged from the hospital, we encourage them that if you have not purchased a breastfeeding pillow, or if you cannot afford one, please use a normal pillow and just place it under, under the baby and also make sure that the baby is coming closer to you, not that you are going to the baby. If you cannot afford either of the two, either the breastfeeding pillow or normal pillow, yes, you can still use some clothes and just put under so long as the baby is closer to your breast. We support our mothers to make sure that they are doing the correct lighting of the baby on the breast because we do not want you to leave the hospital or go home with cracked nipples. In the event that yes, you go home and you're still having challenges on lighting the baby on the breast, we are always welcome and we are always ready to support you and correct every mother that gets in touch with us how to light the baby correctly on the breast. Lighting of the baby correctly on the breast means that the position of the mother and the position of the baby. You need to position your baby correctly. The baby's head, the baby's body need to be in alignment. And when the baby is latching onto the breast, the baby's mouth needs to be wide open. And maybe I could just demonstrate that. The best way to, put, to make sure that the baby opens the mouth is you make sure that you are trying to move the baby's, the, the, your breast around the baby's mouth and nose. You can stroke the baby's nose and as soon as the baby smells that breast, the baby will be able to open the mouth wide and you direct the nipple onto the baby's tongue. Once it is there, we expect that the baby should be able to take my dark area, that is the areola area. The baby, the baby should be able to take in the lower part of the areola, most of it into the baby's mouth and then the upper part of it. That enables the baby to be able to suck well because the baby do not have to suck from the nipple. If sucking is being done on the nipple, then mom, you're going to have cracked nipple, you're going to have sore nipples. So the correct way is the baby should suckle from the areola area because the milk is stored around the areola area and the production is done up in the, uh, in, in the um, nipple glands. So, uh, you, the baby sucks from the areola area and the nipple is 
just used as a means to make sure that the milk goes into the baby's mouth. So let us make sure that there is a correct latching of the baby on the breast and in the event that you're having any challenges, you live around Kusumo, you are welcome to come to the Adetan Hospital of Kusumo. We will be very glad to support you and make sure that your baby is latching correctly. The environment. Within the hospital, we make sure that there isn't a lot of noise to distract the mother when she's breastfeeding, especially moving around the trolleys. We make sure that it's conducive enough for that, maybe for that mother to concentrate on breastfeeding the baby. Other challenges could be that the baby is not well and the baby has been admitted into the NICU, that is high intensive, neonatal high intensive care unit. If the baby has been admitted there, our pediatricians will take care of that and mom is always encouraged to get to the neonatal high intensive care unit, do skin to skin with the baby, that is what we call the kangaroo, and make sure that even the mother continues to express that milk and we are giving the baby. And in the event that the baby is already in a good medical condition that the mother can be able to put the baby on the breast, we always allow our mothers in NICO to be, make sure that they are able to breastfeed their babies as much as they are able to do the kangaroo. We do all this because we want the milk to continue flowing because for milk production to continue, we need to have that milk that is milk being expressed or milk being suckled. So if the baby is not able to suckle, then we are able to encourage the mother to be able to, uh, to express the milk and we stock it. We encourage the mothers to use the containers for storing milk or the, or, or the bags and we encourage them to always put the date and the name of the baby because we have maybe having three, four mothers in Nico depending. So we need to differentiate whose milk is which. So we need to have the baby's name over there, the date it has been expressed, and the time. So that even when the nurses are taking the milk to feed the baby, it is fast in, fast out. The other challenges also are that the mothers, when they go home, breastfeeding is not only meant for this mother who has given birth. Breastfeeding is for a whole community. That is why today's theme is really very important, that support for all. Please let us be able as a community to be able to support this breastfeeding mother. Maybe you are in a, in, in, in a vehicle, this mother is having this baby carrying a lapid, let us be able to support them. At home, daddy, you can be able to help the mom by making sure that that baby is bathing and put back that baby to bed. You can also help mom and she's breastfeeding. Maybe she feels like taking some water. Help her take some water. Help mommy bathing the baby so that there's no much stress on mommy. And we also make sure that the bath part of it is not dramatizing so that the mother, once if we have a dramatizing bath, it will always go into, uh, into affecting our mothers in breastfeeding. So in the event that you find that there is what we call postpartum blues, please make sure that this baby, this mother is being seen by a counselor so that we are in good mental health to be able to breastfeed our baby. Because for a good breastfeeding to continue, we need to have a sound mind, we need to have the breast and we need to have the baby. So these three things work together. If your mental state is not okay, then even if you put this baby onto the breast, we are not going to be able to achieve uh, to achieve much. So we need a good mental state, we need the breast condition to be well, and we need to position our babies well so that that circle continues so that we are having enough good milk like that. I am looking forward to supporting anyone that will be able to reach out and our hospital please we are even supporting our staff at our hospital. We even have a lactation room where our staff who are lactating are able to come in, express their milk, store it in the fridge, and then when they are going home, they are able to take it home. And the circle continues. And even there are work, good working hours for our staff to be able to continue with good breastfeeding. So for me, it's to say that breastfeeding is not only for that breastfeeding mother, but it takes a community for that mother to be in a good environment to be able to breastfeed. In the event you're having a challenge, don't hesitate to reach out.
Thank you and God bless you.